A video posted online by the recently launched Brabham Automotive brand suggests its BT62 project will spawn a track-focused hypercar with a high-performance V8 engine. Although the brand has remained tight-lipped about what the BT62 project is developing, the new footage below features a car at full throttle blasting along a pit straight, offering some insight into what it will be like. A screen grab of the moment the car passes the camera above appears to show a Le Mans prototype-like silhouette, while the engine, thought to be a V8, revs hard like a racing car motor with a tone not too dissimilar to the eight-cylinder unit used in Formula 2. Despite its clear extremeness, Autocar understands that the model, which is due to be revealed on 2 May following a rigorous and extensive engineering program, will be road legal. It's described by its maker as a car that has been built to set blistering lap times, suggesting it could be as focused as the McLaren Senna. Unquestionably fast but about far more than outright speed, the Brabham BT62 is resolutely focused on uncompromising performance, handling and driver involvement, the company said. Born from a unique and historic racing pedigree, Brabham Automotive's first car has been designed and engineered to demand more from the driver and reward the limited few who will rise to its challenge. The BT62 name resumes a discontinued lineage of racing cars produced by the original Brabham brand. Brabham has been synonymous with motor racing since its founder, three-time champion Sir Jack Brabham, first took to the Formula One grid in 1955. David Brabham, son of Sir Jack Brabham and a former F1 driver and Le Mans winner himself, said the Brabham philosophy has always seen drivers extract every ounce of available performance from their cars and themselves. That same spirit lies strong within Brabham Automotive today, and its first project, the BT62, honors the legacy of the cars that have previously carried the iconic Brabham name. David Brabham below launched his new car company last month, two years after the company name was first registered with the UK's company's house. He has long expressed a desire to return his family name to motorsport. Last year he told Auto Car that he wanted to see the name back on track, suggesting the launch of the car company could lead to a motorsport program in the future. As revealed by Auto Car last year, a Brabham Racing re-entry that followed the launch of a car brand would mirror a strategy employed by McLaren Automotive. Formula One 2018, everything you need to know. A Brabham spokesman refrained from commenting on the idea of a return to racing, stating that the car company has been continually approached on various projects and that it will reveal more about the automotive project and its intentions shortly. Previous speculation linked the new Brabham automotive brand with the Force India F1 team, which, it was believed, could be taken over amid an ongoing legal case for its owner, Indian business tycoon Vijay Malia. However, the Force India team will compete at this weekend's Australian Grand Prix and has quelled any possibility of a takeover this year.